You know, we take things for granted until we lose them. We take things for granted until we lose them. And a lot of times, I should say sometimes, I hope it's not a lot of times, but sometimes we are not happy with what we have and who we are and what we are and where we are. We're not happy. Let me assure you, let me assure you that and I'll never forget this video clip it was very short till this moment it's shattering my heart I'm not talking about politics I'm not talking about government affairs that's not my business and I will never make it my business but I'm talking as a human being to another human being regardless of their f f color race religious background regardless we are human beings i saw this little girl in the gaza strip again i'm talking about a human being and a little child who has nothing to do with what is happening in that part of the world or anywhere else for argument's sake but this little angel Because of the bombing, she lost both her eyes. I can relate literally to that. When she spoke, if I can now go to the Gaza Strip and take this girl and through some sort of an operation, give her her both eyes back, I will not hesitate, even if I s throw myself in the fire for her to live, I'll do it. She cried, and her tears pierced my heart. She said, what is my fault for this to happen to me? And she was crying. She cannot see anymore. She probably would have been, I don't know, six, seven, eight year old. She was born normal. This little angel, what has she got to do with all that? I'm not saying about anyone who is what doing and none of that. I'm just talking about this little angel. She lost her sight. Do you understand how much of a sorrow, of a pain that is unbearable for you to be born normal with two healthy eyes and all of a sudden you lose them before you blink those eyes? Do you understand what is happening to that girl as we go and come and eat and drink and we're healthy? We drive, we go out, we come back, we have a house, we have a car, we have food, we have a lot of things. This girl, all she wants is to, for her to see again. I pray, I pray from the bottom of my heart if for the Lord to do this miracle. Lord Jesus, give this little angel her sight back, give her her eyes back. Right now, Lord. Because I know how difficult and unbearable pain it is. I know. I've gone through it, but not as fully as this little angel has gone through. My advice to all of you, my beloveds, and those who are watching through live streaming, thank the Lord for what you have. Thank the Lord for where you are. Thank the Lord for who you are. Don't ever be a winger. Be content. 
I'm still standing on my feet. So many are paralyzed. I'm still seeing so many are blind. I'm still going and coming. So many are in hospitals and in nursing homes. And for years, for years, think about Westmead Children's Hospital, angels who have leukemia and they are battling this illness and they are still in their infancy stage. They are still a blossoming flower that hasn't enjoyed life. And they go through one chemo, through another and another, and they are still suffering. What are you complaining about? Thank God. Remember those who are hungry. Remember those who are suffering. Remember those who are forgotten. Remember those who are lost. Remember those who are in prison. Remember those who are in hospitals. Remember those who are naked. Remember those who are strangers. Remember those who are distant from God. Remember them. Speaking of those who are in prison, I humbly ask the Australian government and the police commissioner for that incident that took place here against this bishop back on the 15th of April. The people that came that day, whether they have acted in whichever way they have acted, I'm asking you humbly not to use such a severe judgment on them because if not all of them, I can assure you a lot of them, they acted based on love, concern for the well-being of the bishop and the priest in the church. So sometimes we need to understand we are human beings. We should never lose track of that. So as human beings, when we love somebody, dearly to uh, and they are very close to our hearts and we hear that something has gone wrong we come and we may act in a way that is not our normal self it is normal for a human to act as such because it came to my understanding that there are some people being charged and they may face some time in prison so i'm asking the police commissioner and whoever the judge is to approach this as a human being not just look at the law because the law has no mercy we need to be merciful and we need to remember we are human beings i'm sure the judge if he realizes his family was exposed to gen to danger i don't think he would act as a judge and sit and say okay let's see what the case is he will run as a father as a husband as a as a brother he will run like crazy and he will do everything in his power to save his family true or not so we need to remember this as well i'm not saying what took place from some people was okay but i'm saying they did it also out of love and enormous concern for the well-being of the people whom they love and we should take that into consideration. We should take that into consideration. And I hope they don't get punished. They get released. And maybe a warning for next time not to do it. But I know a lot of them, if not all of them, they did it out of love and concern. So I'm asking humbly the judicial system, the police commissioners, and the government to reconsider and approach it more softly. We need to remember, we need to remember people who are suffering.